Hello, thanks for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If this is your first time here, consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering that notification bell so that you'll be reminded when I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that is easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, keep watching thank you all so much for tuning in and watching another one of my videos i will be creating some dollar tree signs using all of these new items that i've recently seen in the dollar tree i thought these were so cute and i knew exactly what i wanted to do with these to style around my coffee bar i'm just going to keep these as is i went to my cricut joy and i cut the saying stop for coffee I wanted to keep these like signs. I thought they were so cute. So I'm just using some transfer tape and I'm going to transfer over my text to this one. And I also cut out the phrase go for tea. So once I get this transferred over, I am going to transfer over go for tea on the other one. And I just thought this was really cute just to style around a coffee bar. I love the buffalo check and they already have the hanger to them but I did hang mine using some command strips and I think this is so cute. Moving on to the next one, I was excited to find these signs. They come in a few colors and they have the jute hanger. The Dollar Tree really put out some nice signs to craft with. And I found some stencils in the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use these two by cutting out um, the words that I want to use. Um, I'm not going to paint this sign. I love the color of it already. It's really simple and cute and the farmhouse style will go great styled around my coffee bar. So I'm just going to get all of my words and phrases just um, arranged on the sign the way I want them. I'm going to add some tape to help me keep um, the stencils in place while I add my paint. I'm going to be using some of my black chalk paint that I pick up from Walmart and one of these Dollar Tree round foam brushes and I'm just going to go in an up and down motion um, over the stencil. There are so many different stencils and transfer stickers that the Dollar Tree have that you can use these new signs they have and just add your text to them. I think this is so much easier and the signs that they put out recently they do really have a nice high-end look to them. If you um, added a few of these signs together you can create a larger um, decor piece um, they all are just so nice and so I just switched over to this mushroom color paint to go over that little part at the end then once that is dried some I'm just going to pull up the tape and I pull up the stencil and that is going to be it I'm not going to add anything else this is really simple and I think it's so cute that I can keep it up all year round around my coffee bar coffee is my true love For my next sign DIY, I was super excited to find these chunky wood signs in the Dollar Tree and these also came in a few different colors. But I'm going to be pairing these with these little wood um, letters from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to pull out the letters that spell open. I added them to some tape to keep them um, in place while I paint on them using this white chalk paint that I pick up from Walmart. And I'm just going to give it one good coat and I am just going to let this dry and then what I'm going to do is just pull them up off the tape and I'm going to be using my hot glue gun to add the word open right to the center of my sign. I'm just going to arrange them first how I want them and then I'll go over the back of the letters with my hot glue. So this is going to be um, a duo so I'm gonna have two signs that I style together so I'm going to use another one of those signs that I used in a previous DIY to create the second part 
of this decor and now what I'm going to be doing is using these letters that the Dollar Tree put out and it has the beads on the end these did I believe come in another color I'm just not sure but I was super excited to find these so I'm just cutting the beads off and I got a B a A and an R because I want to spell out the word bar and they fit perfect um, on this sign but I am going to take some hot glue and go over the back of them to secure them once I get my letters down what I'm going to do is just remove um, one end of the jute cord by just taking the scissors and cutting it off because I am going to take those black beads that I took off the letters and I am going to string them on this jute cord. So the way I'm going to be styling this for now, you won't see the hanger. I'm going to be styling it on the shelf as a leaner, but I thought it would be cute if I added the beads so that when I decide to hang it on the wall, if I wanted to change it up, it would have this really cute hanger. And once I get my bead strung on there, I am going to use my staple gun to add it back. And because it had the holes and the letters at the top, I decided to take some of this greenery that I had left over, I believe, from a Walmart pick. And I'm just adding it right to the top, making sure that I just have some leaves cover up those little holes. And then that is going to be it for this sign. Really simple and cute, but I'm styling it with the open sign that I made, and it looks really cute together open bar now for my next Dollar Tree DIY sign oh my god look at this cute little house this little chunky house is so cute and I have another stencil from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting out the words that say have a nice day i thought that would be super cute and i'm just going to arrange it on my sign i am going to end up making another one of these signs um, but i'm going to change the color up so that i can style on my desk at work now what i'm doing now is taking some white chalk paint and i'm going over this stencil after i get all of that done that is going to be it for this this is super simple and like i said the dollar tree have the cutest signs that you don't have to paint and they put out some really nice stencils and some transfer stickers that you can use so all i'm going to do is pull everything up and that is it have a nice day i think this is really simple and cute So I have one of those chunky signs, but I have the white version of the one I used in a previous DIY, and I have these transfer stickers. So I'm going to cut out all of the words that I want to use, and I am just going to arrange them on this sign. So I'm going to cut out the farmhouse and those um, Floral images. I'm going to cut out the word copy and then I'm going to start arranging them on my sign. I'm just placing the little plastic um, right on the sign and then I'm going to rub over it really good until I get the word transferred over. And I make sure I pull it up slow so if anything don't transfer over, I can go over it again. Now when I um, did the word coffee, um, you'll see that later, it was messed up a little bit. So I just took a little pen marker that I had to fix like the C and everything. And it wasn't perfect, but it still came out really cute. So I think I just messed up <laughs> somewhere with shifting um, the little sticker around it too much and I think the plastic just moved that's why I try to hold it it wasn't much but as you can probably see like the E and the C wasn't so good so I just took a little marker what I had handy to try to fix it and it still came out really cute
And now for my next DIY sign. I love this little house that had the little um, kickstand in the back. Um, and then this simple, cute little um, buffalo check um, calendar. I'm just going to add these two pieces together by using some hot glue. And that was it for this. I just thought it made a cute little sign to add as a centerpiece on my table. And for the next DIY sign, I'm gonna be using another one of these houses. And here's the little kickstand I was talking about. This is so cute. All I did was went to my Cricut Joy and I cut out this image of this coffee cup. I used some brown um, vinyl and it has this cute little heart. And all I'm going to do is just take my image and transfer it right over. I just love the idea of having this coffee on this little house. Um, just kind of reminding me of the word coffee house. I just thought this was so cute. And I am going to style this on my coffee bar as well. Now for my next sign, I have another one of those chunky pieces and that white sign and then I have another Dollar Tree stencil and I'm just going to take some black paint and the stencil over the word good and the word morning. I thought this was so cute. All of these signs today were really simple and easy but they were really cute styled on my coffee bar and around my coffee bar and it didn't take much work the signs were already painted and designed i think the dollar tree just did a really good job with this selection um, after i get my stencil on and remove um i am going to add some juke cord to the bottom of this i'm just going to take some juke cord tack it down in the back with some hot glue and then I'm going to wrap it around a few times and then while I'm wrapping it around I'm going to do like a crossover and that is going to be it. I thought this would be cute at the bottom of the sign since I didn't add any words to the bottom. So I'm just going to tack the juke cord down in the back and that will be it for this one. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.